Nice to see you. Good to see you. It's been a while. It has been a while. Yeah. And I was trying to work out this morning when it was exactly that we met, because it has been almost, must be like nine years? Ten years, man. Could be ten. 31 now. It must be 10, because we had released Strange House, which was our 10th anniversary of the album this year. Well, and we go. were playing with you guys, with the Rascals, yeah. and the Arctic Monkeys, mm -hmm. um, doing the UK tour, yeah. so Ali Pally. Yeah. But it was actually, I can, it was between records, because we were playing some stuff from Primary the Colours, which is the second one. Yeah, I remember that tour, and uh, you kind of would blow my mind. <laughs> yeah. Did we get you into eyeliner? <laughs> I think, you'd, I, think the, I had a mad phase on... How many years ago? Five years ago, six years ago, I, had a, I did a few tours wearing eyeliner. Yeah. And I think it was maybe one night... I mean, it sounds really... <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I think you probably... You opened me up to the eyeliner. I think when we were doing that first tour that we were playing Yeah, together, you had it on then. I was like, wow, look at him, he's off his nose. I nothing. think it had gone beyond eyeliner. I think before we were going on stage, we were just rubbing our hands in this stuff called Snazaroo, which is like the face paint. Snazaroo? Snazaroo, yeah. That's the name it's what of my band. That's what, you, that's what you need for <laughs> Halloween. And the, and the Snazaroos. <laughs> it's the one thing you always need for Halloween. And we were just, by the end of it, we were just... Yeah. Panda eyes, basically. Yeah, yeah. My eyeliner, no, I got into like, I had like the bloody, uh, the Mac pen. Ooh. I was going real. <laughs> very sophisticated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But that didn't last very long, yeah. Looks great on stage, though. Yeah. I think there's a time where you've got you to gotta let it, yeah. get, give I think it up. You've got to release it, and then, yeah. you know, you can always go back there if you want. No, it must have been, I can't remember if it was the Alexandra Palace gig, but that was. The first night that we kind of went back to a party, which is at Joe, the drummer from the Horrors right. House. And yeah. I think Alex came as well, yeah. and everyone came. Everyone yeah. that was playing, we went back, had a bit of a wild night. <laughs> and I, <can't... laughs> I left with two heads, I think, yeah. at seven in the morning. Seven in the morning is yeah. good going. You're yeah. lucky if you usually get out by lunch. I, I don't think you wanted me to no, go then. I think Maybe I... it was a bit later. Yeah. No, I can remember it well, though, because we were sitting around literally sitting around the record I player. I think me and you honed in on each other that yeah. night. I can remember the, the moment of like sitting down with a box of 45s, <laughs> turntables over there, and you'd bought some brandy along. And we were, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was your tipple <laughs> at the time, it was, wasn't it? Was yeah. it? What a mad 21-year-old with a bottle a, of brandy. Straight after Who a did I well. think I was? It was man. good, though. I yeah. enjoyed it. But it was quite like, <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Got to have another one. Yeah. Have another one. But then we were just spinning tunes and... I guess things I like the music machine. I think we sat cross-legged on the floor yeah. for about four or five hours, yeah. me and you. Everyone yeah. come over. Come on, what's yeah, going yeah, on? Sure, sure. <laughs> but, what's um, this one? What's this one? You know when there's that point where you're growing up where music is something in the background and then something suddenly it becomes... You're the aware of it and you become... Mm. Well, I became obsessed with, with music, but the music you, that I kind of... At that time, was did you have like a... What about a Blair or Oasis? Yeah, so was that, that, that was probably the small faces gear. That would be like the starting point for me. That so was, it was me as well. Yeah. yeah. So like Pulp. Yeah. Um, I was just more the Oasis at that right. time. But Pulp as well when all that hit. Common yeah. People. It's great when it's everything's new because it you're not aware of it. So it's exciting, isn't mm, it? When you kind mm -hmm. of see things that inspire you and you're excited around. And uh, there was, I was in, I guess, like year nine at school. Yeah. And there was this gang of kids <laughs> in the year above me that were wearing Parkers and sitting on the, a demountable classroom like at uh, lunchtime and, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. They'd all be sitting there kind of like with jam patches and targets on mm. the back. And I just remember that was something I just kind of like drew me in without having any mm -hmm. idea what it was about. And I remember thinking, so what's all that about? Well, you know, wh where does that look come from? And I actually remember going home finding out that they were mods and saying to my mum, mum, what's a mod? I guess I was like yeah. 13 or 14 or something. I guess. And, but that's the start of a long journey, and then it's just weird, isn't it? With music, it's that thing of when you get in something, you want to hear I, more. My cousins were in the band called The Coral, yeah. James and Ian, and at that time, they were doing really well, and like, they were putting me on to all that music as well, and Captain Beefheart, yeah. and Love, you know, bands like that. Remember hearing Captain Beefheart, Zigzag Wanderer, yeah. is one of my favourite tunes. Pretty wild number. That's kind of right up my alley, that. So would yeah. you have like record sessions, spinning things and hanging out? We'd with go, yeah. I remember having nights in the R. James's where we'd smoke a hell of a lot of weed and yeah. we'd just play records for do you, hours. Do you, you pick know? up like, do you, did you get into kind of the collecting? Uh, 
Not to the extent that you do. When I was living in Liverpool, I'd go to Probe Records and yeah. I've got a lot of all my vinyls, uh, I think, in storage here now. Um, but I did, but not to like you are. <laughs> <laughs> I just said you're you have like a little the, bit obsessed you're, now. You're the king, I'd vinyl, say, of, of, of that. You know what mm. I mean? I'd love to come and see what you've got now. But. Yeah, there must be a few new boxes oh my since God, we were yeah. last hanging out. You went on to like, what was like, you were saying, yeah, like you got the Turkish psych and Japanese psych and some of the shit you tell me about. It's yeah, like, it's yeah. a kind of bottomless pit, isn't it, once you come That's of what get I into always it. think that, yeah. It's like, but. Yeah, just to keep discovering those tunes mm. that give you a buzz. Are you still finding that now? I'm still finding that just about, you, yeah. Your <laughs> pit must be running out, I'm wondering. Well, I guess there is one, a point where it will have to, but I don't know. It's, I think it's almost impossible. It's probably never, there's, right? there's so much stuff, yeah, there's so much stuff. I went to this gig um, on Saturday night, on the Wirral, actually, that my, my cousin had put on, and it was... Weirdly, what we're talking about was in the community centre. Yeah. So, you know, it's like a sort of like an old school, and they had bands on in there. It's like our vibe, yeah. you know, sort of every, you know, there was kids there dressed in 60s gear. And they had that, the main band, I guess, was that new band called Cabbage. Right. I think you'd like them. You know, cool. they're like young and they're like the fall and they've got something to say and they're not afraid. There's one band in London at the moment who are pretty exciting. In fact, talking about that thing of performance and having a, a stage presence, mm -hmm. uh, it's HMLTD. They were Happy Meal Limited, but they've shortened their name down, and I don't know if that's legal reasons or right. well, they've just gone concise. Ronald but their um, was knocking on the door. I think that might might have been <laughs> the case, but they're uh, they're kind of like a really glammy punk kind of band oh, with wow. loads of weird electronic stuff and a kind of a bit of a Adam and the Ants kind of oh, beat wow. behind them, and they're all kind of that got a little right bit up of my a alley, man. yeah, look good and really. In fact, it's one of the that's one thing I've not seen for a long time. A, a band who, when they're playing, there's a, a show that goes there's with a it. It's visual, and they become that yeah, character. Yeah, I think it's been a while. In the last couple of years, it's all got a bit heads down, kind of guitar-y, and these yeah. guys are like kind of. Don't be afraid Iggy to pop, show up. Kind of, yeah, you know, exactly. stomping around and freaking out. And I love that, man. When we started hanging out, mm. if you were in town, we would kind of meet up and go yeah. go dancing, basically. Yeah, we go and find basement clubs night, and uh, then come down to the cave club yeah. and dance things. Which there. was amazing because I'd never, apart from the early doors at club in Liverpool, I'd never sort of been to a, a club that's dedicated to that yeah. thing that we love. You know what I mean? Of uh, hearing uh, them tunes loud and getting loose, and you know what I mean. It was pretty you cool. Like at you, that I point. always feel like I'm in a film. So yeah, you know? I think it was. I think clubs are great when it's you've got a basement that you have to walk downstairs into the club, and exactly. I really like that thing of knowing you're heading somewhere, feeling excited <laughs> about the night that's ahead, and you get you walk down the stairs, and kind of the sound from outside turns into the sound of yeah. the music that's been exactly. played in the record. So yeah, I feel great. like I'm like walking slow motion yeah, yeah. down the stairs. So this, yeah. this November will be the 10th year. Well, I'll have to come to yeah, the Yeah, come to the anniversary. Yeah, I will do. In yeah. fact, you just, yeah, you're just not around enough to come, <laughs> come and have a dance. Yeah, anymore. I know, Mum, we've got to hang more, you know. <laughs>